first we're going to check our starter switch. So we've set our voltmeter back to ohms, which has got the wee you know, O symbol there. And um, we've just set it onto the lowest one, which is 20k. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to gonna dis disconnect the, the starter switch, which you can see here. We're going to follow the wiring down, um, which is this one here, if you can see that. We're just going to disconnect it. Um, so we've disconnected the starter switch here. And we're going to look down the end and see, see those two pins. I'm not sure it's a bit dark. I'm sure if you can see there, there's two pins. Yeah, if you can see it there now. And what we're gonna do is, it's quite fiddly, but we're gonna use these two, we're gonna get our two leads, and we're gonna stick one on each of the pins. So you're probably gonna need, need another person to help you out to, they're gonna have to push the, push the kill switch. I mean, sorry, the starter switch. So what we're gonna do is at the moment, we look back down at our thing, it's on, if we can see, down at our um, voltmeter, it's on one. That means it's an open circuit. So hang on one second, like I said, this is fiddly. You gotta make sure your leads don't touch. So, yep. Let's wait one second. The starter switch is working fine, so it doesn't have a problem, it's just real fiddly. Getting these in here and getting them so they don't touch. Yep, as you can see there. So now we're pushing. As if you come up here, and we're pushing the pushing the starter meet, uh, the the starter button down. And that's um, opening and closing the circuit. So if, if if that just done if that just done nothing, just stayed on one, that would mean um, there's a problem with your starter switch. So you're going to have to replace your starter switch. Okay, this next test. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to check our earth. So we're going to set our meter to ohms, which uh, if you look at here, there's a wee sort of like it's almost the shape of an O. And that's the ohm symbol, and we're going to send it to 20 to 20k. Um, just just one of the lowest ones that's on your meter is all good, and um, you'll see a one show up like this. At the moment, it, that means it's got an open circuit. very well here and then if we put our leads together it should zero out so now if you look at our if you look at our uh, voltmeter it's it's gone down to zero so now we're going to do the same test but on the motorbike so we're going to get our lead doesn't matter which one we're going to put on the negative of our battery and then we're going to put it on the earth it to the frame and this should hopefully close the circuit as you can see there it has so um, if that still stayed one or maybe a bit higher, you could probably say there's something generally just one. This next test is uh, what we call a fuse test. So we're just going to check check the wiring going into our fuse and just, just check our fuse uh, to make sure everything's working right here. So I'm just going to put my lead onto negative and then I'm just going to check the wire uh, going into the fuse here. And as you can see, we've got 12 volts, so that's saying the wire's fine. So if that said zero, then you could probably say that's, that small wire's you know, got a problem there. Unlikely. So now we're going to check the other side of the fuse. You make sure our fuse isn't blown or um, anything else is going on. And hopefully we have 12 volts again. Yep, as you can see, 12 volts. So that, that's pretty much saying that our fuse is fine, so that, that doesn't need replaced. This next test is uh, what we call a starter motor check and we're going to make sure there's power going to our starter motor. So we have our voltmeter here and we've got it set to 20 volt DC as you can see. We use 20 just because that's the closest to 12 volt. Um, this time we're going to get our black lead or it doesn't matter which one you use and we're going to earth it onto the frame. So I'm just going to put it on this bolt right here if, if you can see that. Um, see right there. Just on this bolt here and then we're going to get the red one and um, as you can see we've pulled back the the rubber onto this power lead into your starter motor and um, we're going to put put the lead onto this power wire here and um, we're going to press the starter button and see what happens on our voltmeter now 
And as you can see, it went up to almost nine volts, which is a good sign. It's saying that we've got power going to our starter motor. So all the wiring is, um, you know, it's working up to here. So if your bike's doing something strange, you know, maybe clicking or doing nothing, um, this is this is kind of saying your problem's probably your starter motor, so you're probably gonna have to replace that, is what we'd recommend. Mm -hmm.